guys, welcome back to Hello RC. This is Jason, and today I've got Liz's Traxxas TRX4 K5 High Trail Blazer out here at Crawler County, which is our backyard crawler course here at Hello RC. And if you see a little smoke in the background, that's because I'm burning leaves that were on the course today, trying to get it cleared up a little bit. But today we're going to do an episode of Under the Hood with this K5 Blazer. I'm going to take the body off show you what electronics and upgrades are underneath and then we're gonna do a little test drive on our course and see how it performs so let's go ahead and take a look at the k5 here's the traxxas trx4 k5 underneath that body and first of all we've got the fusion se the hobby wing quick run this is the 1800 kv version um, it's got an AGFRC, I believe this is a 42 kg servo, it's like $76, it's just an awesome servo. Super fast, super responsive, there we go, just a really good servo for the money. Um, does have the stock shift servos, uh, let's see underneath here we've got lots of brass, we've got the heaviest portal covers I think you can get. I think these are 120, 125 grams a piece. It's got the diff covers front and rear. It's got the brass front bumper mount. And then last but not least, it is running on these Enjora bead locks that just look awesome on this truck. And it does have stock canyon trails on these bead locks but it is running our very own 3D printed foams here that we make at the channel. And these are available if anybody's interested. I'll show you the difference there. The purple is soft and the green is medium. We're running soft in the front, medium in the rear, and that's about it. So let's put the body back on and take it out to the course. Here we are back at Crawler County with the K5. Now that you've seen what makes this thing tick, Let's drive it around the course here and see how it performs. I'm lucky that Liz is letting me drive this today. She doesn't like to have it scratched or damaged in any way, so I will try to be very careful with it today and not be too rough on it. Now, one thing you might notice is it does have a lot of body rub and all these high trails have a lot of body rub. I mean, you can trim the bumpers or the body or do whatever you want, but that will be up to Liz if she ever wants to do that. I think she likes to keep things kind of in their out of the box form, at least for the bodies anyways. She didn't like to make a lot of changes, so that's okay. We'll deal with the rub and that'll be fine. See right there, catches the corner of that chrome there on the body. And I do have a lot of droop set up in these front shocks anyways. So you could give it a little more preload to give a little more clearance to avoid some of that. But this is going up in our trucks with cups, trucks with cups competition here. So we want performance to be at its maximum. Just love these wheels on this truck. It looks so good. Also love the control of this Fusion SE. Just an amazing motor for the price. I 
I think I'm going to turn it around here and come back straight at us. Another thing you might notice, the body does not stay tucked in very well on this particular high trail. The F-150 is probably the most secure out of all of them, but I just think it's just the design. It's kind of unsupported on the side and just kind of easily pops out. But you can do some things to help improve that, like put gorilla tape or some backing on it or even raise your sliders with some spacers. these 3D foams to the test here. I think we'll go over here and try one of the man-made obstacles. right on around here. I think both those tires are going to stay on. There we go. that section pretty good. We'll see what we can do here. Thank you. 
think they have enough front end weight to get up there. We're going to have to change our line. Yeah, the front tires are just kind of not getting much traction there. I think I might just put a touch of preload back in the front shocks to get a little more clearance there. Actually, I'm going to take a little pause and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, put a little preload back in the front shocks. You can see it's setting up a little higher already, but we'll see if that makes a difference. And it appears to be making a difference already. I didn't, that was pretty simple. Don't know how it's going to affect the performance, but we'll find out. <laughs> Certainly does cut down on that body weight. See if we can keep these tires on this rock. Oh, that back tire down there's got a good grip. This is looking good. Fusion SE is showing off here. Pretty awesome. And we'll check out this SE going downhill. Pretty good. Let's head over here to the newest section of the course try a few things and then we'll call it a day. There was a little glitch there. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that's something we're trying to work out to see what's causing that. My guess is it's interference in the wiring somewhere, but haven't quite been able to uh, pinpoint it yet.
this motor just makes this thing so much easier to control. I mean, my F-150 high trail with the 1080, it's good, but it just not have this level of control to it. Not sure where to go exactly from here. I think I got a Wyatt tried this the other day. I think we need to hook that tire over the front here. And just creep it right along here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna creep around here to the other side of the course so I can get a better view. Okay, I'm on the other side and this is the biggest hill on the course. It is just enormous. So I'm gonna come up here, get a nice shot of this thing coming across the top. Definitely don't want to roll it down this. And I am not planning on it. So even though I did take all that preload out, it really, or put the preload back in it, it really doesn't seem to be affecting the performance all that much. All this brass that's on this thing and the wideners really helping the side hilling capability. That's a pretty difficult crawl to crawl around that point like that. Even with a non-lifted truck. So that was that was pretty awesome. So I think we'll call it quits there, and you'll see this truck real soon. It's going to go against the 21 Bronco in the Trucks with Cups National League matchup. And the winner of that match will face one of our viewers this coming weekend in a challenge match. So if you like this sort of content, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.